I have been so unbelievably generous to Tyrese Halliburton <laughs> all of last year when Twitter was jumping down his throat to say his superstar subscription has ended, his insanity run has ended. I was like, guys, his hamstring hurts. Give him a second. <laughs> Please, yeah. come on. He was top five for a second, I promise. I wanted him to be a top five point guard so bad. I think that ship has sailed. I am mm -hmm. no longer holding out my breath. He looks so unbelievably bad right now in a way that is unsustainable. He'll get better because right now, he looks worse than he looked as a rookie. Right now, he's not playmaking well, not shooting well, not finishing well, not defending well. He's just running around, passing the ball too early, not putting any feet in the paint, not generating any rim pressure, shooting bricks. It's atrocious. It's honestly worrisome. His three-point shot, he changed his form to try to get it off faster. And he's focusing so much on getting off these quick trigger threes that he already didn't put a lot of pressure on the rim. He's putting less. He has no threat driving to the rim. People say a lot, did the league figure him out? And usually I think that's lazy people say that because like, what does that mean? I think people figured out that his ass does not want to go in the paint. And <laughs> if you just stand on his step back threes, he can't create any separation for anybody, can't create yeah. any open passes for anybody because he literally just wants to pull up from three. Guard him tight, he's not going to run past you. He doesn't want to. I think people actually figure that out and he can't get anything off. Right now. Yeah. Right now. If I put you in the gym with Tyrese Halliburton, are you locking him up? Like, yeah. like, I'm you, gonna, you, seem to, you seem to have the scouting report Listen, on him. Loki, I tell him to be Isaac. He's locking his ass up. I'm going to make him, him attack that person behind me and see if he wants to finish over my backline health. Because yeah. I'm just going to stand here and be like, yeah. drive. I'll let you drive every time. Yeah. Listen, I'm going to stand on his right side, put 40% of his body way over here. Right? Wait till I get over here. It, no, it is very, it is very, very worrisome because I think he's all, simple right now. All three of us are in the same boat. We were all saying <laughs> like, "Guys, relax, please." And like, he's very he, talented to me. Exactly when he when he runs around like when Tyrese Halliburton runs around, it it looks very like Looney Tunish. And mm -hmm. I, yeah, oh my gosh! And, but like, but I, I say I say that in terms of like <laughs> sometimes when people play fast, it's fine because you know where they're going. He looks he looks indecisive, right? Like I I think I think sometimes like You think I, so? I, I I think so. I think like Tyrese Halliburton. I think he's mad decisive. I think in the he, worst way possible. It, it doesn't look like he's in control right now. Oh, so you were gonna say you don't think he knows what he wants to do. I think I, he knows exactly what he wants to do. He wants to step back from three and three's not open, pass it to the wing immediately. That's exactly what he wants to do every single play. It's not, it's yeah. not he's too decisive. It's not, it's not, he's too decisive. It's not looking good. He's not reading and reacting. He's Passing off dribble way too fast. They're also, his usage is way down because I think they're trying to like be more egalitarian with their coaching. That's not going well. That's making him even worse because he's just clearly focused on getting the ball out of his hands and letting other people cook. Nothing's good. Tyrese Halliburton is just living up to his scouting report to, certain, to a certain extent. <laughs> um, the number one issue that people talked about with him coming out of college was like, yeah, this dude has limita real limitations to his game. When it comes to like off the dribble creativity, which is of course like, yo, do you can you step back? Cool, you can do that. Can you be creative within the mid range? And can you do some in the paint <laughs> and be like attacking? Yeah. So that's why we've been seeing what we've been seeing from Tyrese Halliburton. Um, for a second, we all thought that he figured it out. Was scoring what 26, 27 a game and all that step back was hitting at an insane range while also like doing better at going in the paint. And I just reverted back to that. I kind of feel bad too for the Indiana Pacers because I feel like if they knew that he was going to be this guy to where like he's not like superstar level point guard, but pretty good point guard, probably could get an all-star game, a couple all-star games throughout his career. They probably they wouldn't trade for Pascal Siakam. You only make a trade for Pascal Siakam when you feel like you have a real ability to contend for a championship. That's what Pascal yeah. Siakam is, especially at this old age. And now you get rid of your assets, which weren't like OD important or whatever. But now you're at this point to where like you're with Tyrese. I don't want to say he's mid, but he's not what you expected him to be. And you have an aging star in Pascal Siakam who's good. You're just going to be like, I guess, like, just jokes write themselves. Like, the end of the Pacers are just going to be the Indiana Pacers. Yeah, and to be fair, nice. that's what they want. They refuse to rebuild. They want to put butts in seats, so good for them. And I'm not, I don't think Tyrese Halliburton's ass. You know, like, I don't, Yeah. I'm not saying he's going to be this bad all year. It's only six games. He'll improve somewhat clearly. I'm just out on him being a top five point guard. Yeah. That's the main thing. And like, when we were talking about his ascension, we were like, oh, my God, he's 
is bigger he top than Trey four? Young, better than yeah. Trey. Oh my God, is he going to be in John Morant conversations and all that? Those are the conversations that he was in. No one's uttering mm-hmm. those words ever again. Yeah, and now we know he was never better than Trey Young. He just had a really hot shooting stretch that wasn't sustainable. Clearly, <laughs> and I don't think we were wrong for like reacting the way. It's fun when people are clearly making ascensions to react to it and like have fun with it. So I don't, I don't like regret it. Some people are like have a lot of animosity online. Like y'all told me he was going to be a lead bozo. Look at you. I don't feel bad about it. He was amazing. And we, we don't have to pretend he wasn't because he's no longer that. But like you said, you can react that way initially and say, oh, this guy's next. And then once you see that, oh, that maybe that was wrong, you react again and say, okay, he's just a good player, not an amazing player. Indiana Pacers, welcome to your fluke season. That is, <laughs> that is, that is, what, that is what last year, last year was. from the Eastern Conference Finals appearance to Tyrese Halliburton's ascension to the in-season tournament final appearance. Like, was everything fraudulent? Was any of it real? <laughs> like, <laughs> they had a crazy year. <laughs> I feel no, so it was, bad it was, for them. No, it was like a real building block year for them. Yeah. And I think now, uh, at least like the top five teams, actually not, maybe four, because I'm like, the, the Bucks are going backwards as well. But there's a lot of teams in the East that are taking steps forward. And we, 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 listen, we talked about it with the Magic, where like progress isn't linear. It's not the same. That's for what the, I was gonna say. Yeah, it's not the same for for the Pacers. Like we thought, we thought that that the Magic were gonna have these issues, and it's the Pacers that are now going backwards and have to, you know, re retool and reconfigure how they do things. Dude, yeah. We made that realization at the exact same time. Right, when we started sentence, but clicked my yeah. brain. Hmm. My debate on my rankings was six and seven between those two teams, and I said the Magic might have some learning curve. It was just flipped. It was entirely flipped. Mm-hmm. This is the team that is not linear. That's that's crazy, and that's the way it's that, locked in. Yeah. No, what else I was thinking. I was realizing the other day, 